Hello everybody, um, I'm here at Mepham School in Kent, which is actually where I went to secondary school. It's a pleasure to be back here. Uh, I left 13 years ago. This is the second time actually they've very kindly asked me to come and um, do a motiva motivational speech and sing a couple of songs for their prize, um, prize giving winners. So that's what I'm here doing today. They've allowed us to film the performance and the speech so hopefully uh, if my camera works here it is when more and more rhythm start to play dance with me uh, I must say it really is an absolute pleasure to be asked uh, back here to perform for you and uh, to just uh, talk to you all very quickly about um, this school what it's done for me and uh, what I've done since uh, being a student here at Mepham School. I was 11 years old when I first came to Mepham School. Uh, I wasn't yet a student, um, but I came to watch my older sister, Joanne, uh, in the school production of Oliver, in which, funnily enough, Mr. Knight was the male lead. <laughs> Gotta do it. Uh, it was then and in this very hall that I first caught a glimpse of what show business felt, smelled, and sounded like. In this hall, 18 years ago, I realised what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Alright, I'm a bit nervous about coming out there, but can I come downstairs? That's fine, it's allowed. Sway! When I was in year 8, I auditioned for a part in our school production of Greece at Mepham School with the help of certain staff members. Uh, I set foot on stage for the first time and learned important and necessary skills for me to go on and become a professional and successful singer. I also put in a lot of hard work to be able to do just that. Since leaving school 13 years ago, in 2004, I've had over 2,500 gigs and I've performed with on the same stage as and alongside the likes of Rihanna, Sir Tom Jones, Elton John and the Jacksons. I've appeared on albums with Jamie Cullum, Abba and uh, uh, Dame Shirley Bassey and I've been paid to stand on stage and create music with some of the world's very best musicians and dance with some extremely talented beautiful dancers. Many of these musicians have played on tracks for your favourite uh, artists and films. Now, aged 29, I've just released my debut album which has taken four years to complete, and it's something I can be completely proud of. Uh, it's cost around £13,500 to make, and it involved around 50 musicians, sound engineers, writers, and producers. Every time I step foot on stage nowadays, part of me can't believe my luck. But there's a larger part of me that knows how much work I put in to get here. Those 2,500 gigs, for instance, were not all easy. Some far from home and uh, a long distance on planes, sometimes uh, two hours after finishing a gig here in the UK. Some gigs are less glamorous and dangerous. There have been a handful of even non-paying gigs that I've had to abandon and get out, uh, get out of because of drunken and dangerous people causing a scene right in front of me. I'm not at those particular gigs because I enjoy the confrontation or the stress, I'm there because I turned up with the right attitude, uh, dedication and professionalism. Not all venues and venue managers have the same attitude as I do and, and a lot of them let their customers treat the entertainment however they wish. There's also a lot of fun and it's a very rewarding job. But to get higher up the ladder and to sing and perform in the nicer venues, I've had to put in nearly a decade of hard work singing for two hours when I've had no voice, driving for six hours to a gig that doesn't pay, and hiring lawyers to get your wages for you uh, because the venue haven't paid you for whatever reason. I absolutely love what I do. I'm very determined, passionate and driven. There's no other route to leading a successful life. If challenges are thrown your way, face the fears and work hard and you'll come out the other end stronger and better, and you can be proud. Having been in your position 
and having won a prize here myself when I was a student, I can say that those of you that have won prizes today have obviously faced certain challenges and worked hard through them to come out stronger and better. So, be proud of your achievements and never forget that feeling, the feeling of winning, of satisfaction, of strength and of success and know that the only way to truly feel each of these is with hard work. Congratulations. There we go, I hope you enjoyed that. If you fancy uh, more videos from me, Shane Hampshire, then subscribe now using the button below or, uh, or pressing this button. That button. <laughs>